What's happening? Ah, uh, nothing, everything. Nothing and everything. How are you? I'm so good and we're gonna have some fun. Yeah, can't wait. Uh, I think you brought an apron, right? Great. Ooh, very nice. Right? I feel like it goes really nicely with the kitchen. It really does match my kitchen perfectly. It does, right? How do you feel when you're in your kitchen? Actually happiest, most relaxed. I always have found it very, very therapeutic. It's like you can kind of remove your mind and put it into a project. It's a bit of an art for me. And you know, the best thing is people get to benefit from it. How long have you been cooking? Honestly, as long as I can remember, probably since I was five. I mean, I was the first one in the kitchen with my mom, um, my grandma, my, my aunt. But I also think you can become obsessed with it too. So you are gonna show us what? What are you gonna teach me today? I really feel that as a working mom or dad, I would like Roger to uh, take some notes from you, Justin. What can I make that's healthy and so delicious and something you want all year long? For me, stew, especially a vegetable stew or vegetarian stew, I think is so much more like satisfying and filled with so many nutrients. I've just found it to be just such a fun thing to make. They're easy and they're delicious. I started making them in college, actually. Have a little bit of money, you gotta make it last, and, yeah. you, and you gotta eat, right? So, Rach, what is the first step? Oh my God, Justin, the first step is actually, you aren't gonna believe this. Whoa, what is this? Okay, I'm sure you don't know this about me, but I love Dutch ovens. This might be the prettiest, most chic one I've ever uh, seen. Not might. This color, it's a matte black and it's called licorice and it's just impossibly chic. I actually would have to. I would want the other one, which is like this kind of gray stone color with a more silver steel knob. This is one of the sort of more medium sizes. They come in varied sizes, depending on what you're cooking. I love this particular size because it really just fits sort of all I need for myself and the kids and Roger. I mean, Roger might need, you know, his own. Um, you know, he, he just, well, yeah. you know, he eats tremendous quantities of food. I would leave it out. I would love to see this like sitting on the stove or like on a shelf. I approach, you know, cookware, bakeware, the same way I do styling and getting dressed. It's like every part should be pretty. This brand, Le Creuset, is like one of my absolute favorites. My grandmother lived by it and I have such memories of it. And to me, it's such an iconic brand. And you know, that particular one looks really good in my kitchen. So, just saying, you might have to leave it here when you're done. Nope, nope. You might, you might, I mean, look at my kitchen. Look no. how good it fits in no, my kitchen. No, because maybe I'll leave it here with my stew, and then when oh. you're done eating it, okay, I'll I will it. come pick this up. <laughs> okay, good. Get to cooking. Okay, um, I'm super excited, but um, I really wanna wash my hands first. Yes, okay. Ooh, very important, okay. okay. I'm starting to get less scared of cooking for a lot of people. Oh yeah. Yeah, thanks it, to you. It's a thing, like, I, you know, I still stress out about it, but like, with more practice, you get better at it. So, Rach, what are we doing first? Okay, so first I'm gonna chop, keep the onion face down. I like to prep everything before. Onion, celery, carrots, sweet potato. And you wanna saute the garlic and onion first. Oh my God, my eyes are killing me. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Almost being a chef. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Oh my god. Okay, cooking with Rachel. Oh my god, that's so much better. This is definitely your luck in the kitchen. This is totally my luck in the kitchen. It feels totally normal to me. Sorry. And then what's the last thing? What's the garlic. last ingredient you have? That garlic, right? Again, some people are scared of garlic, but I think it's so mild in a stew, but important mm -hmm. in this one. If you don't like garlic, eliminate the garlic. Totally fine. Sorry. Oh, go for it. You do the smash technique? Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah. I was trying to impress you, Justin. It just didn't work. <laughs> it's okay. It's You're impressing me with this outfit and the glasses. <gasps> I hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these onions. I hate them. Oh my god. Recap. Onion, carrots, celery, sweet potatoes, garlic. I'm gonna saute the onion and the garlic first. Easy enough? Okay. Easy. Okay. So olive oil. Very important. You know, it still shocks me every time, just saying. You know, true story is that Roger and I, when we met 400 years ago, I was a hostess and he was a waiter. Long story short is, our dream was to like open our own restaurant <sighs> slash like hotel. What we later realized is how hard it actually is. And I have such a huge respect 
for chefs and restaurant owners because I think no one realizes when they come into a restaurant the love and the passion and the work that goes into it. I also love that your backup career has become a fashion icon. Like, <laughs> what? Listen, Justin, you can't overplan your life. You just think one thing's gonna happen and a totally different thing happens. Okay, so I've sauteed the onions for probably a minute or two. I added some fresh garlic. How's everything looking? Everything is looking good. I'm gonna add my ginger in. This looks like an inch. Yep. Gonna get it in there because the, the flavor really like permeates. I'll also put the full recipe with all the ingredients uh, on my website, cookingwithquite.com. I love your website. Thank you. I, I think like it's it. nice to see a guy making healthy food. So what are you adding in? Okay, so I just added in my carrots. And at the same time, I'm going to put in my sweet potatoes. You can use any potato. I like sweet potatoes. Anytime I can sneak vitamins and nutrients into my children, the better. Now that the sweet potatoes and carrots have cooked down a bit, I'm gonna throw in the celery. Okay, let's see how okay, we're doing. It's looking so beautiful. Wow. It smells so good. I really wish that you guys could all smell what's happening. This is called coconut aminos. And it's a really nice alternate to soy sauce. It's not as um, strong to me as a soy sauce and not overpowering, but also adds just a lot of flavor. Okay, then I'm adding in my lentils. You know, you can adjust these this stew to pretty much whatever your favorite thing is. These are just some of my favorite things, some of my family's favorite things. We love cauliflower, you can add broccoli. Yeah. Okay, so then the really easy part now is you take vegetable broth, which I have here. I love vegetable broth, everyone loves vegetable broth because it's not like a polarizing flavor. You know, it just kind of adds to what's already in there. I always like to add fresh herbs last. Dried herbs you add much earlier, fresh herbs you add last. So this is rosemary and a sprig of thyme. That is oh God, so It smells so good. Beautiful. Okay, so everything's in there now. It looks really beautiful. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and then I'm gonna lower it to a simmer, and I'm gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Perfect. Voila. Okay, guys, it's been about 30 minutes, and this is where we are. Ooh. Look how beautiful this is. Awesome. So good. So I'm just gonna add a few last things. Frozen peas. They only take like a minute or two to cook, and I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper, and then let's mix it up. So the rosemary and the thyme, I like to leave it in there even when I'm serving it, just because the longer it's in there, the more flavor it gives. Just make sure you don't give it to anybody. I'm just gonna pop this on and let it cook for a few more like seconds. Oh, it smells so good. The ginger and just the vegetables, I smell the rosemary, which I don't know, it just always makes me feel like something is, is like fresh and delicious. But again, you can add whatever fresh herbs or dried herbs you want. So. So, what do you think? Is it done? Um, definitely. All right. Okay, we ready? Give it a taste. Everything cooked so nicely. Oh my God. Obviously, I'm gonna say it's good, but it actually really is good. Justin, we need to invite people over now. I know, we've got a whole batch. Should we have a dinner party? We should. I think we should make this for our next Jewish holiday fest. Ooh, good idea. It's mind? like a healthy take on, on Jewish holiday food. Totally. Victory, success. success. Good job. Thank you so much for coming over. You did an awesome job. I can't wait to dig into that. This was so much fun. Will you have me back? All the time. And so you, I get to keep the Dutch oven, right? Nope. No, no, no. No, you but get... you said, you said at the beginning of the video, you said, oh, I get to keep it. No, I said you serve the stew tonight, tomorrow, but by tomorrow night, I'm expecting it back to it's, my house. This is like a library, like I gotta like give it back. Yeah, yeah, there's like a, it is due on. <laughs> you can have it for 24 hours and then it's coming back to me. Bye Rage, thanks so much.